Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome back to Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yesterday, I got the 64,000 pound question wrong. I had two answers to choose from because I used the 50 50 and I chose the wrong one. So I won 32,000 pounds. That was converted to $32,000, and that brought my overall total to $64,477,942. All right, here we go. Let's get to it. Here is today's 100 pound question. Put the name of the famous US horse race, the Kentucky Derby. Okay, for 200 pounds, what is the collective name for a group of lions? Pride. For five, no. Don't get too ahead of yourself, Jake. My goodness, we're a level behind. In which English county is Land's End? Devon. Is it Devon? No, it's Cornwall. Wow, I almost picked the wrong one. My goodness. No, Devon's the right answer to like a 2,000 pound question or something. All right, here we go for 500 pounds. When he was given to a building which is purely decorative, folly. Five hundred pounds. Here we go for a thousand. What are winkle pickers? Shoes. Okay. Good. Very good. So that's a thousand pounds. That's guaranteed. All right. 10 away from the million, still have all three lifelines. Let's take a look at the 2,000 pound question. Which English county is Dartmoor National Park? Aha, this is the one I was literally just talking about. This is the one where the correct answer is Devin. That's actually really funny how that, uh, how, that's really funny how that popped up when I was literally just talking about it. <laughs> all right, there we go, 2,000 pounds. So, next up is question seven for 4,000. Here we go. Which is the capital of the Netherlands? Uh, Amsterdam, right? I'm just gonna go with Amsterdam before I change my mind. All right, nice. Very good. That is 4,000 pounds. We still have all three lifelines. I like how this is going so far. All right, here comes question eight for 8,000 pounds. Which university is famous for the Bodleian Library? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. So. We are going to ask the audience. Because I have no clue. I know those are four really well-known schools. 60% um, say Oxford. So, wait, that was Oxford, right? See? Yeah, okay, so Oxford is the one I'm going to go with. All right, thank you, audience. So we've got 8,000 pounds. Still two lifelines. <clears throat> All right. Here we go for 16,000 pounds. Which group of dogs takes its name for the Latin for Earth? Okay, I know this. It's Terriers because Terror. I, I was talking about this before. Like, Earth is like La Terror or something. So, C. Yeah! All right, good. Very good. Got a little stuck on the eighth question, but you know, it's okay. We're just gonna keep going. We are six away from the million, two lifelines left. Here we go for 32,000 pounds. This is the second and final guaranteed level of the game, of course. Here's the question. Which TV series is based on, uh, on the Inspector Barnaby Inspector Barnaby books by Carolyn Graham. So, um, 
Let's see, Miss Zimmer murders. I wanted to try to sound like Drew Carey there when he was going for half a million dollars. I think it was his first time on the show or second time. And he it was a question about how long is a utility patent uh, good for? And he used the 50-50 and it was left with 20 years and 50 years. And he was like, well, uh, eight, 20. I just, uh, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to sound like. Anyways, we got 72,000 pounds. It's guaranteed. We're probably worth a million. We still have two life, li lifelines left. Here we go for 64,000 pounds. The name of which textile is not derived from the name for a French town. I have no clue. So I'm, I am I, I can kind of already see how this is gonna end. I'm gonna phone a friend, they're not gonna have a clue, and then I'll 50-50, and then I'll pick the wrong one. That's, prob that's probably the way it's going to end. But we'll see. Maybe the phone a friend will actually surprise me. I just realized I have like literally like eight bottle caps on my desk, and I'm not really sure why. Oh wow, they actually, perfect. I'm actually really happy with that because I, was a, I really don't like when that happens. Mostly. If I do have to use a lifeline on one of the first 10, it's usually going to be the audience. So then I'm left with a 50 50 phone a friend if I make it to this level. Then if I don't know it, I phone a friend and they don't know. And then I 50 50 and then I pick the wrong answer. That seems like it happens a lot. Anyways, we have 64,000 pounds. We are going for 125,000. We still have the 50 50. So let's take a look at this 12th question. Which city's name is derived from the Greek meaning three towns? Well, Tripoli sounds like it would make the most sense, because try, triple, but C also sounds like it could be right. I'm going to 50-50, and I'm just going to go with Tripoli. It's, I don't know, maybe it's, it, I didn't really have the 50-50 there, but that seemed a little bit too easy for a 125,000 pound question. Um, anyways. I'm glad I got it right though, 125,000, that's really good. So we're now just three away from the million. We're going for 250,000 pounds. No more life ones, unfortunately. But here is the 13th question worth 250,000 pounds. Which building houses the Irish National Parliament? Oh my gosh. I think I actually know this. Which building houses the Irish National Parliament? Leinster House, Munster House, Ulster House, Connacht House. Connacht House, I think. Connacht House. I didn't I thought that was an A, but that's an O. Um I'm pretty sure this is Leinster House. So I'm risking ninety-three thousand pounds. No lifelines. So it's all up to me, but I'm gonna go ahead and trust my gut and say A. Are you happy with that? Yes, I am. Final answer! Oh. Yeah! Yes! Holy crap. Oh my goodness, this just got really exciting. We have 250,000 pounds. We are just two questions away from a million. Holy mackerel. Okay. We are now playing for a half million pounds. Here is the 14th question of the game. Oh my gosh. Which male first name is derived from a Latin word meaning to conquer? Victor is really speaking to me. But. Oh my gosh. My heart is beating so fast right now.
I've walked away with 250,000, I think, twice, or maybe maybe three times. I think it's only been twice, though. Oh, I can't decide if I want to go for it, if I want to walk. I literally cannot decide. Victor really... Should I do it? I'm really tempted to go for it. You know what? I'm just, okay, just give me a second, okay? Just give me one, I'm just, I'm looking at the four options so carefully. Because, like, this, it seems almost like a little too easy for me. Because to conquer, like, if you're, if you conquer, you're a victor. You're victorious. I'm just gonna say D. Oh my gosh. No, do I do it or do I not do it? Ah! I'm literally pulling my hair. Ah, oh, man, I can't decide. Okay, you know, if I, I'm going to go with D. If I'm wrong, I will do everything in my power, starting tomorrow, do everything in my power to, to make up for this episode, because I always feel better. If I lose a lot of money on one episode, I always feel better when I, if I make up for that. Like recently, I got the. Why am I talking? D. Final answer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I need a moment. <clears throat> I just had like a mini heart attack, I think. I just lost 218,000 pounds. Oh, that is the biggest loss I've had yet in this version of Millionaire. Okay, I should really end this video because if I don't, anybody who actually clicks on it and sees that I am going for 500,000 might actually think that I get, that I actually got the question right and was going for a million. So, I lost 218,000 pounds. 32,000 pounds is what I win that's converted to $32,000 and that brings my overall total to $64,509,942. At least I hit the $64.5 million mark, at least. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.